Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are discussing the sealant market and what global factors are influencing its position going into 2022. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Today, we are discussing the sealant market and what global factors are influencing the market's position going into 2022. To help me out, I have Ryan Thome from Sheffield Metals and he's in charge of the accessories program at Sheffield and Sarah Nash, the owner and CEO of NovaGuard. All right, well, Sarah, let me start with you. Really appreciate you being here with us. Can you tell us a little bit about who NovaGuard is? Sure. NovaGuard is an innovator, uh, formulator, and manufacturer of silicone sealants. We also have a line of uh, PVC foam, but that's a smaller part of the business. Uh, the fastest growing part of our business is our sealant coatings and adhesive business all under the chemistry of silicone. So we're very familiar with all the tensions and supply issues that have confronted us and therefore our customers uh, over the last year. It's been quite an extraordinary year, but one that we have met Full force, thankfully, because we've had longstanding uh, strategic partnership with a major global supplier of the raw material. Awesome. And I'd love to talk a little bit about how uh, Sheffield's customers uh, can benefit from some of this knowledge. But can we start, first of all, um, with where you see the state of the sealant industry right now? Here we're in quarter one of 2022. Um, from your perspective, what does that look like? Well, the sealant industry has, has really taken off um, for three reasons, um, and we participate in two of those economies. One is the construction industry, which Sheffield knows well, is continues to be extremely strong, growing at 30% or more last year, and we continue to expect that to be the case this year. And the only thing that might abate that growth is the supply of various raw materials doing that, but I think we've all we've all learned a lot last year, so we'll keep that in check. The second major market that we participate in is electronics. Uh, we're building a very strong market across all electronics coatings requirements, be they for automotive, medical, general electronics, uh, as you would know that to be the case. The third market is one that has really caused the explosive growth is the semiconductor chip industry. And you know, all those chips go in everything that we use and all those chips are coated with silicone. So what's happened fundamentally in the silicone market is that the traditional consumers of silicone, we continue to be there with our markets experiencing very high growth but then you have the semiconductor chip industry coming in with explosive growth. That also, I would wrap into that, the need for solar sealants as well. So as we've moved towards an economy that is called, in the biggest word, the electrification of everything, we've seen the need for silicone just be driven higher and higher. That's simply because in the sealant world, and this is critically important to Sheffield as well, silicone's the one material, coating adhesive material that works at all temperature ranges. So you can be in very, very cold temperatures or very warm temperatures and silicone expands and contracts and performs at consistently the highest levels. We don't crack, we don't diminish in quality. And so as individual requirements from certain industries have gotten stronger and stronger. We, more and more companies are choosing to go to silicone. And we're delighted with that because we feel we do provide the superior coding in the industry uh, and one that is customized to very specific applications. In Sheffield's case, we're proud to provide them by and large with our metal roof sealant 
given your obviously strength in the metal roof industry. But it's it's a very, very exciting time, but also a very stressful time for all of us as we compete for what has been a diminished supply of silicone, which we believe is short term, meaning it's not a long term situation. It's more driven by geopolitical reasons than anything. You know, markets like electric vehicles, um, energy storage systems, those markets explode over the last year and really putting a strain on several products that, uh, you know, are fundamental to our business and the construction markets overall. Ryan, I'd love to ask you, you know, what has Sheffield been seeing, you know, in the construction industry? How are we affected by this? We've been affected because we have not been able to keep our inventories up um, to supply customers. We've done a pretty good job um, with NovaGuard giving us a heads up, telling us, hey, you might want to get your orders in. There may be a, you know, a longer delay than normal. But one thing that we've been told from our customers is they don't want us to go to another supplier. They, they want us, they'll wait. And I think that's why we've partnered with NovaFlex is it's, it's a big name in, in the industry. And that's who our customers, it's the only one they want to use. Um, <laughs> that's just, wonderful to hear. <laughs> it's almost as simple as that. Um, we stock at all of our locations. Um, so we are able to transfer from branch to branch to take care of our customers. What advice would you give to a customer if they're, you know, they're experiencing difficulty or, you know, we're trying to do our best to, to forecast and build our inventories up, you know, should there be something they consider when they're ordering product? We are pulling from one branch to fulfill orders in another branch. Um, you know, if you use a lot of sealant, I would suggest buying in bulk. That way you're cutting down your lead times. It helps us plan our inventories. Again, just, just pre-planning. It's probably easier to stock your, your traditional colors. You know, we're not always going to be able to transfer from branch to branch. You know, all of our branches sell NovaFlex and we got to take care of our customers, but I think the important part is just don't wait until the last minute to get your sealants. We're waiting too. So, you know, if you can help us, we'll be able to plan our inventories and be able to stock more. Yeah. I think what, what Ryan said is so important because we too, obviously, for those who don't understand, 70% of the world's silicone, the raw material comes from China, 20% from Europe and only 10% from North America. And that's because one of the three big producers in North America closed their plant. And I know there's some thought being given to reopening it under a different um, ownership structure, but that sent shockwaves through the system. And then if you add to that, the fact that we've had human rights issues in China surrounding many of their mines, not just silica, but but particularly ours that have affected uh, a lot of those mines being closed down. Now they're all being slowly reopened. So it's the processors who are awaiting that material. But again, 70% of the processing capacities in China, and then you layer onto that logistics issues of getting the material from China through the ports over to us. It's a, it's a considerable challenge that we've all been met with. And of course, the third leg of that stool, if it's not just the raw material and then the logistics, it's also the labor. We also are suffering from very uneven labor pools. So what NovaGuard has done to address that is we are automating our manufacturing of the mixing process of all these sealants. And so by June, the end of June this year, we'll be completely automated so that we can certainly stabilize. A mixer is a very, very technical, highly desirable job on the manufacturing floor. And they're used in electronics, they're used in pharmaceuticals, they're used in paints, and they're used in silicones. Silicones as a material is a gorgeous, wonderful material, but not as easy to mix as paint. So if you get a mixer from a paint company, they may not like mixing for us because it's a little more complex. So hence, I chose to invest in not only just automation, but also significant increase in our capacity. 
so that we are going to, as of the end of the first quarter, be making six times the amount that we've been making before. So if we have customers like Sheffield who know that they can order more in bulk, we'll be able to manufacture more in bulk and get it to you and you can keep it where you need to. When is this all going to become clear? I don't know, because I think the demand for the material on the customer side, as you said, is stronger than ever. I mean, it's just a superior material. And so we're each competing for applications. And once you're specced in, it's very almost unheard of that someone will move back to a cheaper material, of which there are some. But we know that over time, they don't come close to the performance that we offer. It's just going to be a question of each of us working as closely as we can together. And I'm committed to, we've just set up a new role in the company called Vice President of Customer Experience to represent our customers like Sheffield on the plant floor so that we know intimately, even though we're manufacturing in bulk, that that material that's going into production this week is for Sheffield. It needs to be these quantities. It needs to get there by X date so that we can be in closer communication. And I'm glad to say you feel we have been, but there's always room for improvement. And I'm hoping to get to where we will say week X of X month is when this volume of order will be done So you know that we'll be shipping it out at some point during that week. Can we get back to the day, which we used to be before all this craziness happened? I would be silly to say that, but we all hope that it settles down. We all hope the supply of the material increases, uh, which would then change the dynamics that we're all under now and this, you know, the pressure that we all feel from various sources, but It's a great material and we're delighted to be a strong supplier partner to Sheffield and just know we're going to continue to do everything we can to keep you stocked on time. Awesome. And, you know, that's that's a great lead into kind of our next topic here, Um, hearing about how NovaGuard is is improving and working to to help that supply chain and and, and the uh, downstream product uh, over 2022. Can you tell me a little bit about what you see is the future outlook. You know, is there any information that you can share or any thoughts that you have on what we may see in the coming months? Well, I think we know from a logistics side that we're all going to be under pressure because the longshoremen are planning a strike in June. And so things that are materials that are being brought in um, to California in particular, which is where they're going to target, we've been told, is really going to be under a lot of pressure. So we're trying to get ahead of that. But a lot of our material does come in from Thailand. Uh, It's manufactured in Thailand, and it does come into either Vancouver, Newark, or Halifax. So it's traveling the other direction through the Suez Canal, you know, Mediterranean, the Atlantic, which seems to be a little bit faster. So I would say any one supplier needs to have extremely strong relationships with their supply chain. I mean, we're all partners together here. I think long gone are the days where you just try and get anything at the cheapest price because now it's just about getting it. And then we're all working very hard to make sure we can get it at a reasonable cost. I mean, nobody's interested in paying these freight rates anymore, whether they're on sea or by truck. So I'd say there's some things, unfortunately, on the horizon in 2022, along with there's the Olympics and the Chinese New Year. I mean, China basically will be shut down for a month or two. So I'm just grateful that our supply partner, our product comes out of Japan and Thailand. But that's not to say that we won't be impacted in some way by other things beyond that, or again, by labor until I get our our plant fully automated on the mixing side. We are fully automated on the packaging side. But I think we've all learned enough to know that this is an opportunity for us, given the strength of silicone in the market, that it's incumbent upon us to make significant investments to make sure that we're your partner for the long term. And that's what we're doing. We will do everything we can to keep abreast of pricing and to make sure that it as it's a very dynamic market. But again, the semiconductor chip industry, because of what you're talking about, whether it's battery storage, 
automotive, electronics, you name it. I mean, they're just used everywhere. And the demand for silicone has sort of in a way squeezed what was historically available for construction, general industrial and regular electronics uses. But even the electronics industry is upgraded from epoxies to silicone. We're getting a lot of inquiries there because of the performance of the material. It's not just the absolute supply, it's the dynamic around um, why it's used and where it's used. And those markets are continuing to grow. I wish I could give you some very specific answers, but I think I've shed some light on some of the things that are it will continue to influence it in 2022. Absolutely. And I think that information just further supports how important it is for Sheffield's customers, and the construction industry overall, to pre-plan as much as possible. Uh, that's something historically that, you know, a lot of contractors or manufacturers struggled with. But I think, you know, as we've experienced 2020, 2021, and now heading into 2022, that becomes more and more important. For sure, that I can speak to that a little bit. I think traditionally, you know, we've prided ourselves on having inventory of, of just anything accessory wise, but you know, those, those days aren't, aren't as easy right now. People would come and plan by the job. You know, they would, they would order what they need for what they're doing that day, you know, and they could continuously do that now, especially with the sealant, um, you know, just, just pre-planning is going to make everybody, make everybody's life easier. Um, <laughs> whether it's us holding on to inventory or, you know, just being able to better plan for our customers. Um, you know, we can certainly help them, help them with that too. They can just give us an idea of core colors they're using, um, stuff like that. Anything, any information we can get to help us, you know, keep our inventories ready for them. Well, Sarah, thank you so much uh, for your input. Ryan, thank you as well. Glad to have you guys on the channel today. If you have any questions, please comment down below. We'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.